problem. I will give twenty dollars for Ben to answer this question. Okay. Would, uh, now you have to give it twenty, regardless. I'm going to answer it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's irrelevant to whether or not you like his answer. Yeah. Would Ben want to give his thoughts on the Digimon TCG so far and describe oh. what he likes about it? Oh. Maybe also talk about decks he wants to make. Okay. I'm actually like super into this. Um, so I'm just going to pit myself here. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so I recently took up the Digimon TCG. Uh, it is awesome. It's really good. Uh, so much, and, and an indicator of how good it is is uh, my partner, Nicole. Uh, they know how to play Magic. Um, but they like they're okay on it and stuff like that. They played it for like five seconds. They were like, "Hold, this is actually great. Like it's super, super easy uh, to learn." Um, but I think w the coolest part about it is uh, the the resource system, which is called the memory system. Mm -hmm. And so basically, uh, there is a, a a line in between uh, the the two players. <laughs> Sorry. Here, I'll do this. There uh, you go. <laughs> now you got double, double band. Uh, there's a line between the two players um, that goes from 10 and then zeros in the middle and then 10 on the other side. And so like it's it's representing each person's sort of memory. Um, and it starts on zero. And when you play a card, it'll be yeah, worth be a set amount of memory. Um, and uh, one, the moment it ticks onto your opponent's side, that's how much memory they have to work with. So they can you can do you 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 draw a card. And you uh, you can do all your stuff on your main phase in whatever order. You can attack, whatever. There's no there's no order. But the moment you play something that ticks it over to the opponent's energy or uh, memory side, their turn begins. So it's a gambit play system. Yes. I love these. Yeah. So yeah. you could straight up uh, play, uh, uh, you know, a, a 10 drop at mm -hmm. any time you want. You just have to know you're going to tick it that much over into your opponent's thing. Um, so it's it's fairly recent. Um, that so it's been going in Japan for a while, but it was only s s like with during quarantine basically that uh, it got finally printed in uh, English. Uh, in English, um, and uh, it's it's really sweet. I uh, got a bunch. I got gifted a bunch of uh, the starter decks, and they're really cool. Uh, and uh, singles are not that expensive. They do <laughs> they do they did kind of a stupid thing from a collectability standpoint or playability is that like any of like their promotional products and stuff mm -hmm. are legal in the format, um, which mm -hmm. means there are some cards that they did a promo thing for. And you'll never find them again. That They're just very expensive. Mm -hmm. Like there's like common cards from that that are like $24, <laughs> um, but you don't need them to, to play. I, uh, I played uh, up against a person, uh, a friend, uh, uh, and uh, she she had like a fully fleshed out deck, and I played up against her with the precon, and I beat her. So yeah, it's really fun. And in terms of decks that I'm building, I have a bunch of Commandramons <laughs> coming my way. They're little dinosaurs with guns. They're just they're dinosaurs in army uniforms. I love Dino Riders. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that sounds sweet. It's yeah, they're cool. Uh, and uh, they're part of a it's D Brigade. Yeah, as a couple of people in uh, Twitch chat said. Uh, I'm making like a D Brigade Rookie Rush wow. deck where instead of digivolving to like Megas and stuff, I'm just going to play down a bunch of rookies and hit them. Um, so yeah. It's so like a White Weenies deck? Pretty but... much. Yeah. Yeah. And the, the last thing I'll say before this bit takes way too long because I'm really, really into <laughs> uh, is the life system. Yeah. So basically how it works is there's a security stack. Um, so when you're setting up, uh, kind of similar to the prize system in Pokemon, where at the start you'll put five cards from the top of your deck in a... In a uh, like, like a line. Mm -hmm. uh, and then when you attack your opponent, you say, I'm attacking you directly. And if they're, you don't have any specifically designated blockers on your side, oh. it always goes that way. And they flip the card in their security stack. If it's a Digimon and it has higher strength value, it'll kill your dude, but it still goes into the discard pile. If it's uh, an option card, it'll have a little thing on the bottom that says security effect, mm -hmm. uh, and it'll do that effect. Um, and uh, you win by reducing your opponent's security, security stack effect. to zero and then going uh, to the fifth dome. <laughs> this sounds surprisingly fun. It's really fun. Um, probably going to have to bring it on to AFK at least at one point. Nice. Because um, I get that power. <laughs> Just count me in. I, it's, mag magic is very good. And whenever I read rule sets for other uh, TCGs, I'm like, this is not, this is not clean. 
This is this is uh, this is rough, but this 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 sounds good. It's really good. Yeah, I think really the the only the only uh, critique that I have is 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 that the collectability aspect. It's still we're so used as mag- used to as magic players being like, all right, what is legal in this format, mm-hmm. right. right? Or like, where what is this card from and whatnot? Um, and so it's everything <laughs> basically <laughs> that you can get your hands on and stuff. Oh, good. Um, and because there's only a certain amount of Digimon, they'll be reprinted in a different set. So you'll have like, let's say Agumon in the first set. Yeah. And then they make a second Agumon in that, in the second set. You need to differentiate them by saying, I'm talking about Agumon BT-01 Ooh. or Agumon BT-02 kind okay. of a thing. So it's, it's, you have to kind of change your brain from like a magic standpoint coming into it because every magic card's got its own unique yeah. game kind of a thing, which is not the case here. So. Yeah, cool. $20, please. 